Today, we are checking out Beyond Blue, a single player narrative adventure that takes you into the heart of the ocean as a diver and where I attempt to ride every dangerous animal in the game. You start out in your first dive underwater. I'm not really sure where else you would start a dive. Here you're equipped with the most Tron-like diving suit and you're able to scan every creature to get more info on them. The more times you scan them, the more info you learn about that species and the more likely humankind will find a way to make them go extinct. The first critter I scanned was little old Ray. Because I'm a lunatic, the first natural reaction I had was to approach the stingray. I guess my character hasn't learned or heard of the legend of Steve Irwin. Luckily, this one turned out to be pretty friendly. Next, I located a few animals via sound using a buoy. As part of the tutorial, I began swimming the same direction of the sounds. On my way there, I was told I was live streaming to an audience. Somehow, they can live stream and communicate underwater seamlessly, but in the year 2020, I still cannot get an ISP provider to provide a stable connection and without bending me over every time they bill me. Within a matter of minutes of my first dive, I was face to face to a sperm whale, the ocean's most um, fertile creature. With a total sperm count of one whale, I ventured off to my next objective, which was to analyze the nearby dolphins. I scanned them while they did dolphin things, and then we went our separate ways. Near the end of my first dive, I located a pair of humpback whales with these, and it was my moment to shine. I got up close and personal with this beastly animal. I whispered in her ear and told her that I was too lazy to make it back to my submarine and asked if they could just give me a ride instead. I attempted to get on her back, but she just rolled over in return. I took that as a no. So I forced myself to swim and headed back. On my way, I ran across a whole entire sperm whale family. This family ends up actually being the focal point of the story. And like all families, some are smart and some are dumb. This one couldn't even swim upright. Guess I know which category it falls under. Hope he doesn't make it to the egg first, if um, you know what I mean. At the end of my dive, I eventually made it back to the submarine that all reminded me too much of Subnautica. I got to put my feet up and relax, and I also got to check out all the high-tech gadgets inside that submarine. Unfortunately, there seems to be a look but don't touch policy as I couldn't interact with most of the items besides the music player playing music that will make your mother weep. But I paused this in order to avoid some greedy music label claiming my video to steal the $5 I probably will make. I got extremely excited as I approached the front of the vessel. I was pumped to drive this bad mamma jamma to the next dive site and into every animal I possibly could. But the sole purpose of the seat with joysticks was just so I could sit down and have voice calls with my other team members that talked to me during my dives. So I sat in my seat and chat chitted with them like little schoolgirls. Here, Andre and I discussed in more detail the sperm whale family in the region we were in. When the call ended, it was time to suit up and attempt to ride more deadly animals. It was during this dive I figured out that my fancy Tron dive suit actually changes color. Because I wanted to increase the odds of being eaten alive, I chose red for obvious reasons. I tracked down one of those humpback whales and was able to use a drone to easily investigate it. As I was scanning the well, it proceeded to impersonate a snoring grandfather after a Thanksgiving meal with its wheezing noises. And you remember those sperm whales at the beginning? Well, as I mentioned, they are the focal point and the baby sperm whale was given a name actually. I guess when you're a lunatic diver stuck in the ocean alone for days at a time, you just attach yourself to anything, even if it's sperm. What a floozy. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough sexually suggestive jokes for one video. Anyways, as I curiously explored this new area, I found some sharks. Normally I would be worried. But as you can see, these guys must not have gotten the memo to act like sharks. Instead, they remain like statues in an orgy formation. God dang it, Mike. I said no more sexually suggestive jokes for this video. Sorry about that, guys. I went to another buoy that tracks sounds around the area. A very weird and unknown sound was located. So like any sane scientist, I ventured out alone to go check it out. When I approached the location, nothing was there but a deep dark abyss below me. Now my objective was actually leave and go look at more animals. But my personal goal was to ride every dangerous animal and my secondary objective was to find every possible way to die in this game. So I proceeded to dive straight down into the darkness wearing my bright red suit. Instead of death greeting me, I just slammed into an invisible wall and was forced to move towards the actual game objective. I did more sciencey things, scanned more creatures, went back to the sub to chit chat again, and then I started my next dive. During this dive, I must have grown balls of steel and decided I was now the king of the jungle and the true ocean with the motion. 
With this confidence, I frolicked with a group of orcas. And this one, she was a bit crazy. I couldn't tell if she was laughing at me or trying to eat me. Although my previous writing attempt was denied by the humpback well, I was determined to become an ocean cowboy. So actually, there's no mechanic in Beyond Blue to grab onto animals I found out. So I had to get creative. And this is how everyone should do it, right? Ah, nothing like cashing in on a free ride on top of one of the world's most dangerous animals in the ocean. If riding that orca wasn't already pushing my luck, I then decided to swim straight towards some hammerheads. I mean, since their eyes are so far apart, it's gotta be safe to swim on top or in front of them, right? I tried riding him like I did the orca, but he just didn't let it happen. I mean, hammerheads aren't the sharpest tool in the shed to begin with. Shortly after, I followed the orcas to a hunting ground where alongside a humpback well, they were hunting a huge school of fish. In my professional opinion, this was the best time to wear that red suit. How could they ever possibly confuse me as prey while they're feeding? So that was pretty cool and all, but my next dive was a super deep dive that was totally dark. And the second I started, this actually showed up in front of me. This Tron suit really needed a I just shit myself button. I mean, seriously, this game was all relaxing and beautiful and then just to throw this in front of me at the start, holy crap. After I calmed down a bit and realized I was actually not being attacked, I did end up getting closer to this underwater wildebeest. The neat part about this dive was that the UV lights from my Tron suit really affected the color of the fish. It was like having an underwater rave and I was dancing with the ugliest person in the room. After I cleaned out whatever fecal matter was in my suit, I helped the team set up some kind of underwater lure. I wasn't really paying attention to what they were saying anymore because I was kind of focused on not producing any more of that fecal matter during this dive. However, when I completed the lure, this happened. And now I hope they can deliver new suits to the sub very quickly. Holy shit. Literally. But revenge is oh so sweet. I have spent the last five dives riding wells and taming them. So I sent this well to defend my honor and rid of that giant tentacle freak so I could continue my dive. Oh. And the well did an excellent job, I must say. Of course, on the very next dive, I saw a seven tentacle octopus. Or centipus. I don't know. But this one was a bit smaller and didn't jump out at me at the speed of light like the last one. My mission for this dive was to explore these cool underwater vents. During this time, I of course ran into some scary situations like this eerie looking sleeper shark or this dead sperm whale carcass that resembled the family of the sperm whales from earlier that my character is oddly super attached to. And finally, my very last dive of Beyond Blue was to see what caused that carcass to die and was it affecting the mother sperm whale and the baby that they had named Andrea. Turns out, animals in the ocean are subject to pandemics as well because nearby algae was taking out schools of whales. And just like a scene out of Hollywood, the baby mama passed away while its child nuzzled it and cried as hungry orcas surrounded the baby. But I cannot tell you what happened to that baby well and my character until you subscribe to the channel and like this video. And only then will I see you in the next one.